Hello everybody, welcome back, and I am the Chornik, and today, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to talk about Ash. What starter is he going to get for the next generation, for the next region? Alright, so post in the comment section below your thoughts, what you believe he's going to get. Based upon the prior seasons is what I'm going to draw from and assess and kind of conclude on what he could possibly have or end up picking for this generation, okay? He can end up having one or two or all three of them because it's all happened in the past where he's gotten either one two or three all right but you guys can post in the comment section below with your thoughts and maybe debate and give reasons as to why you think he's going to capture that said pokemon okay because i've been hearing arguments for all of them all right so let's look in the past and see the kind of trend that he's been going on generally pokemon seems to give him the most popular received one so right now, Sobble kind of has that, but Scorbunny is kind of in second place. Grookey is kind of like the least favorite, at least from what I've seen. So Sobble's kind of winning in that regard. Sobble's also my favorite, so maybe I'm being a little biased, uh, but I would love for him to have Sobble, obviously, especially since water type has been chosen the least amount. If we look in the past, Ash for six out of the seven regions have chosen the grass starter as at least one of the starters, right, that he's picked. So six out of seven, the only one being Chespin that he hasn't picked, right, he's picked all the other ones, whether they evolved or not, whether they were focused upon evolution-wise or not. The second group would be the fire types, okay, four of them of which have been focused on and have fully evolved, well not fully evolved, but have evolved and become more of the focus, more of the loved one between all the starters. Okay, and then we have water type, which only four has been picked, and one has been focused on. When I mean focus, I mean the one that has like evolved and been the main focus out of the starters, you know, out of the series. So Greninja was the only water type that fully evolved and had something really special about him fully focused on out of all the water types that have been picked. So water types have been chosen the least with only four picks. Then there was the fire types with five, but they have the most focuses with four. And then we have grass type with two focuses, but they have six out of the seven picks. So with that being said, grass type hasn't gotten as much love focus wise as fire types, but fire types hasn't been picked as much as grass types, nor has water, but water has been really suffering in the fact that it hasn't had as much focuses and hasn't had as much picks as the other two. So we could end up having Sobble, who seems to be the favorite so far, end up being the one that he's going to choose. So the fact that Sobble could go invisible might go into the fact that Greninja was able to go invisible also. So I could see some argument with the fact that you could already see how he could use that for his battle style, how he could trick people, how he could surprise people with the abilities that Sobble has. And the other two haven't really showed any unique abilities other than just one's really fast and the other one's just climbing everything, right? So which, obviously those could be implemented in some factor, but the really unique one was the fact that Sobble could go invisible. So with that being said, Sobble kind of has another plus one in that regard. Finally, with all the previous Pokemon that we've seen, some of them end up being more feminine, those ones hash never really chooses except for Chikorita. Chikorita ended up being the focus and was picked. Okay, but that was back in generation two. That was always all, all the way back to where he had to pick all three, right? Because they were trying to promote Pokemon as a brand and try to get most representation for all of them. Okay, there was only three generations out of the seven generations where he picked all three. Okay, so that's nearly half. But then obviously most of the other generations, two of them of which he only picked one, Either Tr Trico, if you remember that, and then we also had uh, obviously Greninja. So those two were the only one seasons that we only had. He only had one pick. The other two seasons where he had two picks was with Litten and uh, Rowlet in the most recent season, and then the other one that I can't think of for some reason. Oh yeah, Tortway again, Chimchar. End up going. So it's more leaning towards the fact that since those have been picked less. He will either have two Pokemon or one Pokemon for this next generation based upon the pure fact that those aren't, haven't been picked 
as much. So maybe they're going to try to make that up and have him pick either one or two. Just basing off of that. So I think he's going to end up having Sobble. Whether it ends up being the focus or not. Just because Water Type has been picked the least amount. And he might end up having Score Bunny just because it's been picked the least amount. But he could also have Grookey because, and, but then have like a focus on Grookey. Depends on how those starters end up in their full evolutions. Because I know a lot of my decisions have been, you know, like on these starters and what I like is usually based on their final evolution. Because originally from, for example, the last region, Rallet, when he was first announced, was like my favorite out of the three. But when I saw the full evolutions, I was like... His full evolution isn't really that cool looking, that's just my personal opinion. I ended up liking Litten's full evolution better. He looked like a big huge brute, you know, like, I like the masculine, big, like, bad, like, gonna rip you up, gonna tear you up, looking kind of Pokemon, you know what I mean, like the powerhouses, that's my personal preference. It kind of goes with Ash as well, Ash usually picks like the ones that are more masculine, or at least ones that are neutral. For this season, though, it seems that all three are pretty neutral. I mean, Grookey, Scorbunny, and Sobble can end up, all of them could end up being looking like fe feminine or looking like masculine or just looking like they could be either, right? But Ash generally doesn't pick, at least from the prior two generations, has ignored the feminine. So he's ignored Fennekin and ignored a Puplio. So he might do that again and ignore if one ends up being more feminine. So post in the comment section below, guys, just based upon that information, what you think he'll end up getting. And post it, maybe there's some reasons or some things I haven't talked about that you could post in the comment section below why you think he'll pick this Pokemon. Whether you agree with the fact that I think Sobble is a definite pick. I also think if there's going to be a second pick, it would be Score Bunny. Although if Score Bunny ends up becoming the feminine one, which is what most people think, then maybe he'll get Grookey instead. Because so many people wanted him to have the grass monkey that was in Sun and Moon. So maybe they'll end up getting him Grookey. But there's also rumors out there that Grookey's going to end up being the feminine one. So maybe he won't get Grookey. Okay. But we had had a female grass type Chikorita that he did pick. But yet again, let, let, let me remind you that that was like back when he had a pick. You know, like all three of them. Just to base... You know, just to get the brand out there and get representation. and But then they were kind of on this trend of, okay, what was the most popular received? What, which ones do we think is going to be the more popular one based upon not only its first evolution, but the rest of it, rest of them. Rest of the evolutions, what they could do, how does it fit his battle style, his personality. So, with that being said, Sobble's not really that fast, as Score Bunny say. But, it's, you know, because Ash likes speed. You know, he likes speed and he likes to just like abuse the enemy right he likes being aggressive so maybe Sobble isn't that but maybe Sobble is in some way based upon its tactics and abilities because of course he's had soul pokemon before but they were always like sped up like he always like got them to really be energetic and move even freaking Snorlax was just he moved you know like even when he was sleeping like after he was sleeping he was just like a monster he was just like the fastest Snorlax he was able to swim blah 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 so like no matter what, even generally slow Pokemon end up being fast on Ash's team. Ash generally tries to make them that fast, because he, he likes that, that flow, that momentum. So post in the comment section below your thoughts and feelings. What do you think is going to be the starter that he's going to end up getting? Again, mine is Sobble, and maybe a secondary would be Score Bunny, but Sobble will have the focus. Just because Water Type has been having the least amount of focus. And the fact that Greninja was the number one Pokemon in Japan. That being said, maybe they'll go down that water route again and have Sobble. So, post in the comment section below. Again, I love your faces. Can't wait to see you guys in the next one. Remember, subscribe if you have not yet. I love your faces. Peace off. Thank you very much.